Coming Samsung's next big release, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. With the Galaxy S24 still fresh, Samsung is already working on its successor, aiming to set new standards in smartphone tech. Let's break down all the exciting rumors and leaks about the S25 Ultra. So let's get started. First up, when can we expect to see the Galaxy S25 Ultra? Samsung usually releases its S series early in the year. This year, the S24 launched in January, and it seems Samsung is on a similar schedule for the S25 Ultra, possibly unveiling it mid-January 2025. And the price? With the S24 Ultra starting at $1,299, some experts think the S25 Ultra could see another hype due to its high-end specs and the rumored Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. So get ready, it's likely to be an investment. Now let's talk design. Samsung's moving to titanium frames with the S24 Ultra, so it's expected they'll keep this premium look for the S25 Ultra. The camera layout seems to stay the same, with vertically aligned lenses. However, leaked renders hint at a curvier design and even slimmer bezels, which could make it the thinnest Ultra yet just 8.4 millimeters thick. And the screen? Rumors say it may grow to around 6.9 inches, barely larger than the S24 Ultra. But here's the catch. We may not see the brighter M14 OLED display. Instead, Samsung is expected to stick with its current M13 OLED, which is still incredibly vibrant, but might lack the extra brightness of some rivals. For photography fans, Samsung could be working on exciting upgrades for the S25 Ultra's cameras. A leaker suggests that the wide-angle and ultra-wide lenses will be improved, with the ultra-wide possibly going from 12 megapixels to a stunning 50 megapixels. And telephoto? Here's where it gets interesting. It may gain variable capabilities, meaning smoother transitions between zoom ranges, especially for video. There's even talk that Samsung could drop a second telephoto lens and use a crop zoom feature from the main lens instead, giving it a more versatile three camera setup. Moving to performance, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip is set to power the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Early benchmarks show up to a 42% boost in multi-core performance over the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Plus, with a potential RAM increase to 16 gigabytes, multitasking and AI-driven tasks should feel smoother than ever. Rumor has it Samsung may introduce faster UFS 4.1 storage, which could enhance file transfer speeds and allow 4K recording directly to an external drive, a feature previously only seen in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Battery-wise, Samsung looks to keep the 5000 mAh battery in the S25 Ultra with the same 45W charging speed. But thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Elite's improved efficiency, up to 44% in CPU and 40% in GPU power savings, we might see extended battery life despite keeping the same battery size. On the software front, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will debut with Android 15 and One UI 7. Samsung has promised a big focus on AI, and we're expecting more Galaxy AI features across the board, potentially including Bixby with generative AI. Samsung is also expected to add satellite connectivity which would be great for emergencies. Plus, with an Android update allowing background installations, keeping your OS up to date should be more convenient. In conclusion, while it's early, it's clear Samsung has big plans for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. With camera upgrades, the Snapdragon 8 Elite's performance boost, and a sleek new design, Samsung seems set to challenge competitors like Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned as more leaks and rumors come our way, and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Galaxy S25 Ultra news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.